Good morning, Bill Cardoso here with Creative Electron. And uh, today we have uh, an application going wrong to share with you guys. Uh, we always talk about, you know, X-rays of batteries and how important the X-ray batteries is for quality control and to make sure the electrons in the right place. And that, um, you know, especially lithium batteries are constructed uh, to specs because it can catch on fire. So if you, uh, if you guys have been following our channel, you'll see that uh, during the COVID year, uh, when COVID hit, uh, which feels like 10 years ago, but it was just last year, when COVID hit, I built a 1928 Model A uh, uh, into electric vehicles. So I converted a Model A into an electric vehicle. And it's been working fine for about a year now, actually over a year now. And um, without, you know, any major problems until this morning. And um, yeah, so we woke up to this uh, beautiful Model A, completely gone. <clears throat> the battery shorted. Uh, one of the cells very likely got damaged. And as a result, the whole thing burnt your crisp. And um, I was looking, uh, this is the charger, or it used to be the charger. You can actually see, oh, there you go. It's, uh, this is capacitor, electrolytic capacitor. You can see the, uh, the roll in there. Wiring, this is the uh, gas, so I don't know. There's a throttle right here, power cable. Uh, the motor, the electric motor, I haven't checked yet, but it seems to be okay. The fuse completely melted here. You can see the fire got so hot, actually this is the piece of the metal inside the battery, it just melted like that. And more piece of the charger, you know, completely burnt your crisp here. This is the components, the cells out of the battery, uh, also completely melted. Uh, this is the controller, or it used to be the controller right here, right? So that's uh, the three wires going to the electric motor. And again, another cap right there, completely destroyed. <sighs> Steering column, I think it's still okay. I was Playing with it earlier, it looks okay. We're gonna to bring it to the office and see if there's anything we can x-ray here, get some insights, figure out what happened. I don't think there's much to see, as you can see, it all turned into charcoal, basically. More pieces of the uh, charger. I had a, <laughs> I left a uh, fuel filter here, which is the uh, original one from 1928. I thought it was cute, basically a glass little glass bowl, uh, uh, so the gas would come here. This is the gas tank on, a, on this car. You put the gas in there, so the gas stays here. So by gravity, we come out and all uh, solid impurities in the gasoline would just drop here. So once in a while, just remove this and clean up. All days, gas was pretty, gasoline was pretty dirty. Nowadays, you don't do that anymore, but but uh, I found a piece here. That's the piece of that uh, glass. So, there you go, there's another piece here. So anyway, it's pretty bummed about this. It's a lot of work, it's all gone. This is the uh, relay to turn on and off the battery. And the problem with the lithium batteries is uh, once they start burning, there's no fuse, there's nothing. It's internal. The thing just burns by itself. And that's what happened here. Uh, these are batteries from a Chevy Volt. Um, oh, that's my wiring. I just finished this a few weeks ago. Look at that. Oh, God. This is the... Oh uh, man, this is also the original initial coil. 
So the way this Model A engines were built, uh, the spark comes from this ignition coil right here. See, this is the original from Ford. Come from here, there's a wire that connects to the distributor and then four spark plugs. And this is what's left of my ignition coil. Well, oh, not much left. So let me show you the garage. Got a little dirty with this uh, black smoke, of course. I know we're in the process of cleaning it, but I thought some other pieces was just falling. Just found them on the ground here. I had to <laughs> check this out. It's a piece of plastic from somewhere. Maybe the charger just melted to the ground. This is a piece of the battery, nothing left there. And uh, I had a hatchet, just an extra precaution, keep things in place and you see the hatchet itself just melted. See a piece of it left, but that's how hot it got. Check this out. God damn it. Uh, this is the voltage regulator. This is my 96 to 12 volt conversion for lights, etc. It's all melted. You can see the transformer still in there. It's also gone. This is me old. It's another piece of battery. More caps laying around. Another piece of glass. That's probably from the, the little fuel filter that I had there. It's pretty much the only piece of glass I had. Oh, there's a big, another big piece right here. Another cap. Holy cow, this thing got hot. Oh, yeah. Things all glued to the ground, just stuck to the ground. Now. I don't know what this one is from. <sighs> Other than that, the car is complete. Everything's covered with this smoke damage. Interior, all in completely dirty, still fairly okay. The dash got burnt as well. Anyway, I want to share this with you guys. Uh, this whole thing about text ring batteries and quality control batteries is not a joke. It's serious business and this is exactly what can happen. If one of this battery goes bad, as I told you, I'm going to bring one of these batteries to the office. <laughs> And see if we can get them, um, see you can x ray whatever's left. That's going to probably be a second post. It's going to take a while for me to clean this up and pull the battery out. Um, I look, the bad components just fall. Holy cow. Look at that. Whatever that is, that's going So I'm going to bring this to the office. Yeah, look at the transformer just laying in there. Another cap. Another cap. So, as we're seeing, I'll bring this to the office and uh, x rays one or two of these batteries. I have some new ones that I bought recently. <clears throat> they'll bring just as a reference so we can figure out exactly what might have happened, uh, what can go wrong with these batteries and why this uh, happened. Um, and uh, anyway, we'll put in a separate blog post for you guys to see. But uh, for you guys out there, you know, doing home conversions, uh, you know, be careful. This thing is not a joke. Uh, you can... You know, the whole thing about batteries catching on fire, it's not, uh, it's not, a, it's not an academic exercise. It actually happens. I, 
took every single um, safety precaution measure uh, recommended by, you know, the experts out there. But at the end of the day, once these lithium batteries start going uh, internally, there's nothing you can do to stop them. And, um, you know, the, you, you guys seeing this, you know, on, on, uh, on the news, you know, when Tesla's catch on fire, even when Boeing uh, batteries were smoking in the car compartment. I mean, this, this thing is nasty. So this is a good reminder. For me, it was definitely uh, an eye opener. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. I hope you get something out of this. Um, if you have any questions, hit me up. I can share with you what I've done. As a safety, I put fuse. I had fuses everywhere for the thing. I had, I had cooling going through it. The, it's all melted now, so you can see it. But it's I had cooling going through the batteries, which doesn't help me at all. I had a little water pump for it. Uh, I had the controller. I had it connected to my. Um, it wasn't connected to my charger at the time. Uh, Trying to think of all the questions you're going to ask me in the comments. So it's um, that's the result of this. So bottom line is I'm going to clean this up. It's going to take me a while, but I'll clean it all up and uh, start all over again, right? Build a new one. Maybe this time we'll put a Tesla powertrain or a hyper motor. Um, and uh, so keep watching and I'll publish as soon as I have the new 1928 EV uh, put together. Uh, so it's not going to be tomorrow. It's going to take a while, but uh, we'll get it done. I appreciate your support. I appreciate uh, I've shared this with a few people and um, I've been getting uh, super cool um, support from everyone. Um, anyway, well, I'll talk to you guys later. <laughs>